Carissa. And I'm Steven. And today is gonna be so awesome because today we're Super Spies! <laughs> yeah, and today we're at the Super Spy headquarters and we're on a mission to learn all about prayer. But first, we have to make sure we're ready for our mission by putting on our spy gear. So first up, we need our spy watches. Everyone, put on your spy watches with us. Here we go. All right, spy watches, check. check. Next, we need our spy phones. Everyone, take out your spy phones like this. Spy phones, check. check. Okay, last, we're gonna need our spy glasses. Everyone, put on your spy glasses with us. Here we go. Spy glasses, check. check. All right, super spies, I think we're ready. Then let's get started. All right, super spies, our first mission today is to figure out special spy messages. All right, these messages are sounds from some of our favorite shows and songs, but they're all backwards. So we have to listen very carefully and see if we can figure out what they are. All right, you ready, Steven? I'm ready. Let's do this. We have our first top secret super spies only envelope. And on the back of this envelope is our clues, but inside is the answer. All right, first we're gonna read our clues. Then we'll listen to the backward sound. You ready? I'm ready. First clue, <gasps> Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Whoa. All right, and our second clue is Daniel Tiger. All right, let's try to figure out which one it is. Put on your ears, kids. Here we go. Whoa, that's, that's a tough one. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse or Daniel Tiger? What do you think, Steven? That's a tough guess. Kids, if you think that it's Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, put your hands on your ears like this. All right, but if you think it's Daniel Tiger, everyone roar like a tiger, like this. Roar! Let's see what the right answer is. You ready? I'm so excited. Here we go. Right answer out. Here it is. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse! Mickey Mouse Clubhouse! All right, let's listen to what the real sound is. Toodles! Oh, they're calling Toodles! That makes so much sense now. Kids, did you get that answer right? Good job! All right, let's try our next one. This time, we're gonna see if this backward sound is either Peppa Pig or Bluey. Oh, I love Bluey. So when we hear the sound, I want you guys to stomp your feet like they're muddy puddles if you think it's Peppa Pig, or if you think it's Bluey, I want you to shake around like this. All right, let's take a listen. Here we go. Sounds like you're on a roller coaster. It's just flying around everywhere. <laughs> hmm, Peppa Pig or Bluey? If you think it's Peppa Pig, stomp around like you're in puddles. And if you think it's Bluey, just do a little shake. Let's see in our envelope who it really is. Oh, it's Bluey! Bluey! Let's take a listen again. Job. If you got Bluey right, everyone give me two thumbs up. Our clues are Fancy Nancy or Peppa Pig. All right, let's listen and find out what the backward song is. I think I know what it was, but kids, if you think that it was Fancy Nancy, I want you to put your hands on your shoulders like this. And if you think it was Peppa Pig, I want you to say oink, 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 oink. Oink, oink. All right, guys, let's find it out. What could it be? Oh, it was Peppa Pig. If oink, you got oink. it right, let's oink. Here we go. Oink, 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 oink. oink. Let's hear it now, Carissa. <laughs> they oink too, that's awesome. 
All right, Peppa Pig, good job. All right, we're ready for our next one. Here we go. Our clues are Hosanna, the song from church, or Trolls. All right, let's find out which one it is. Here we go. Whoa, that sounded awesome. If you think that it's Hosanna, the song from church, then I want you guys to play your guitars. And if you think that it was Trolls, I want you guys to do this. Rock on! All right, let's find out which one it is. And it actually was, look, it was the song Hosanna from church. All right, I love this song. Let's hit it. Hosanna. Ho, ho, Hosanna. Woo! That is my favorite worship song. That song's so fun. Awesome job, Super Spies. That was so much fun. Everyone go ahead and turn to your neighbor and give him a high five. Oh, yeah. Carissa, I had so much fun with our spy game today. Me too. And now it's time for Exploration Station, where we'll open this week's spy message. everyone, today our mission is to use this key to open one of these boxes. Inside the box will be our spy message. All right, let's get started. Let's start with this first box. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it's gonna move, so I don't think it's this one. Okay, let's try the second box. It's working! And look, it's our spy message for today. Let's open it and see what's inside. Look everyone, it's our prayer hand. Last week, we learned about the thumb. When Jesus told his followers how to pray, he told them first to give praise to God. Today's finger, we still have to find out. So. We need to find our clue, which is a magnifying glass. Everyone take out your spy magnifying glasses and look for the clue with me. Here we go. We know it's not the thumb because we did that one last week and we already colored it in. Hmm, maybe it's the fourth finger, the ring finger. Hmm, don't see it there. Is it the pinky? I don't see it. Hmm. Wait, look, there's our clue, a magnifying glass. It's on the pointer finger. Awesome, let's color it in. The pointer finger reminds us to tell God that we trust his plan. We can trust God no matter what because he's always in charge and his plans are so good. That's awesome. Good job, everyone. Give me a thumbs up. Now show me your pointer finger. We can remember to give God praise when we pray and we can tell him that we trust his plans no matter what. Awesome job. We can pray. And today, we're gonna learn a story all about a man named Jehoshaphat who prayed to God. Let's check it out. Everyone stand up on your feet. It's time to jump into the Bible. One, two, three, jump. This is Jehoshaphat. Oh, hello. Who was one of the kings of Judah. He was a good king. Yeah. Who strengthened Judah. Hey, go and he did what was right in God's eyes. He obeyed God's commandments and God was with him. There were other countries around Judah who wanted to wage war on Judah though. Huh. And one day messengers came to Jehoshaphat. Hey, hey, Jehoshaphat and said that the armies of three kingdoms were marching towards Judah. Oh no! Jehoshaphat was terrified by this news and begged God for guidance. Hey everyone, hey! He told 
told everyone in Judah to start fasting. People from all the towns of Judah came to Jerusalem to seek God's help. Jehoshaphat stood before all the people and prayed to God. He asked for God's help, saying, O Lord, God of our ancestors, you are powerful and mighty. No one can stand against you. He told God of the things that God had done for Israel before, and he asked him to stop the armies that were coming for them. He said, We are powerless against this mighty army that is about to attack us. We do not know what to do, but we are looking to you for help. All of the men of Judah stood before God with their wives and children. The Spirit of God came upon one of the men who was standing there, and he said, Listen, all you people of Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid, for the battle is not yours, but God's. He told them that tomorrow they would march out against the armies, but they would not need to fight, for God would be with them. Then King Jehoshaphat and all of the people of Israel worshipped God. The next morning, the army of Judah went out to battle. Listen! Jehoshaphat said to them, Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be able to stand firm. Jehoshaphat sent the singers to walk ahead of the army, and they praised God as they led the army. At the very moment they started praising God, God <laughs> caused the armies of the other kingdoms to start fighting among themselves. So when the army of Judah came to overlook the battlefield, uh, wow. the enemy was defeated and not a single one of them had escaped. The army of Judah went and gathered the valuables from the valley, and there was so much that it took them three days to collect it all. Wow. They praised and thanked God who had given them victory. Then they marched into Jerusalem praising God who had defeated the armies of their enemies and the kingdom of Judah was at peace. Oh, I love that Bible story. Me too, Stephen. Today we learned that when we pray, we can tell God that we trust him no matter what happens. That's right. Prayer is talking with God just like we talk with a friend. All of us who know God and follow Jesus can talk with God anytime, any place. I can talk with God. Hey, Super Spies, I think we just got our big idea. And now it's your chance to tell Max the mic. Everyone, let's all shout, hey, Max the mic. All right, on the count of three. You ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. Hey, Max the mic. Max the mic. That's me. We know you got a lot to tell me. You are really smart, like Aristotle and Einstein. So come on down and talk to this guy, Max the Mic. Come on, everybody. And talk to Max the Mic. Yeah! Thanks, Max. You did it. You told Max today's big idea. I can talk with God. Let's say that together. I can talk with God. One more time. I can talk with God. Mission accomplished. Great job, super spies. And hey, now that we've got our big idea, I think we should celebrate with a super spy dance party. Everyone stand up and dance with us. Hit it, DJ. 